I've been sick for the last like two days. I haven't been sick other than one other time since I've been traveling in almost three years. And now I've been like having massive stomach problems for two days. So I'm gonna try and find a Sprite to kind of cool myself down and like settle my stomach a little bit. <laughs> One common thing that we see a lot around here is extracto de pina. Pina, I think it's come from pina colada, like pineapple. That's what I assume. Uh, ¿Cuánto es? Tres soles. Three. Three is three. Yeah. So this is. What is this one? Como naranja? Eh, naranja. Naranja. Okay. That's yes. So this is orange juice. I was actually very surprised the first day when we got to Lima, Peru. I went to the restaurant and they got the menu called Shifa. And when I ordered that, like I don't even know what it is, but I looked from the picture, it looked like something that I would like. So I ordered that. So it turned out to be Shifa. It's fried rice. Oh my god, this looks so good! Top up with the omelette, looks so fancy! And interestingly, Shifa is actually a big dish, like I mean, not like a big dish. It's the dish nice. that is like popular and, and I come to find out that Shifa, interestingly, is come from the word Shifan, which means eat rice in Chinese. There are over 6,000 Chinese restaurants here, so, so that means that Chinese food is kind of like play a huge Role here in in Lima, Peru. This looks like sticky rice, kind of. Getting yeah. Frijol, holy the beans. With the beans, okay. Yeah. And what is seco? Seco is something that is dry and for to be cooked for a long time. Okay, so it's like a process. Yeah. Is this garlic? That result. I think no, it's corn. It's boring. Really? Yeah, we oh. say choclo. So I have the whole things together here: corn, I have beef, I have onion, and a little bit of cilantro and. Arroz, which is rice. Wow. Oh, it's so good. It's got a texture of like curry together with sour, which I love. It's a perfect mixture of like filling from the beans and rice with like the sour, uh, the onions. We try that. That beef is so soft. Yeah. It's really good. It smells so good. Well, my pleasure, my first time trying somewhat like so unique to Peru and you can find only in Peru, you can't find somewhere else in South America, Pisco, called Pisco. It's basically like a Peruvian wine. It's kind of like Peruvian wine. The main, the main thing is it's, it's made of grapes. This is really good. and lemon. So they say this is ricorto? Ricorto. So that's like the spicy sauce they use as a side. This yeah. chili is called ricorto. Uh-huh. Okay. And they use that in this sauce. Fun fact, they can't put the seed in this one. So they take the seed out. Because otherwise it would be too spicy. This one alone is already making me cry. Pick up. Pick up. <laughs> it's very good though. It's very good. It's so good together with the curry, with the rice, with the big chunk of corn, with the beans. So I think you can tell who's Asian, who's not, right? All the beans are gone and all the rice is gone, but all the beans are there. True. The common while you're eating in Peru specifically is that they eat tons of carbs, so like rice and beans and potatoes, and of course they have over 4,000 types of potatoes here. And so you, 50 types of corn. So most of the time you're gonna get all of those things all in one dish. Huh? Okay. <coughs> oh my God. That is one thing I realized about Peruvian. Peruvian love pollo and papa. Pollo is chicken and papa is potato. We like chicken. You, you guys love chicken and fish. Yeah, chicken, fish, then meat. No, then can be pork, turkey, duck. And but chicken is number one. The first one. <laughs> so. And since 2010, they love slot machines too because there's 
400 casinos in this one city. Well, you can what? see the area of interest now. I'm talking about food, and Demi talk about money. gambling. <laughs> I wanna say good money, I say gambling. A really scary situation being a tourist and trying to get a taxi in Lima. Specifically because we just found out that none of the taxis in the city goes by meter. So like what you see is these people driving around with their hands out the window. They're actually, majority of the time for people from Lima, they're a little cheaper than getting a normal taxi. And they're a lot faster, but they're actually like fake taxis. They're people, citizens driving around that are basically pretending to be taxi, still giving you a ride. He tries to fill up the car. Because it's... Um, Different people can take the same taxi. Oh, so it's like a bus. Yes. But like more private than yeah. bus. Yeah, so faster because they are small. And cheap. Yeah, cheaper than taxi and more private. So, depending on what you want. I mean, it's really beneficial to use this if you're a citizen of like the city and you're like, you speak Spanish, but if you're a yeah. tourist, uh, yeah, if you're a tourist, it could be very dangerous because one, you don't know specifically where they're going because they're not always going directly to your stop. Two, you don't know how much they're actually costing. Walking around here, you will see like the sign. It's got like, look like black, black and white, white. Like you see it all over and that is because it is part of UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's the Catholic church, but it's not a church anymore. Now they're turning into the museum. That is the government house, the government palace. It's exactly the same size if you gotta look at this beer is made from coca leaf. Coca leaf, yeah, the right. leaf that make cocaina. Yeah, yeah. yes, it's the leaf. Uh, that's it's, right. Okay. But it's the same, like, so we had coca tea in Colombia. So one of the common things to actually cure, like, altitude sickness and kind of help you cope with altitude, and especially here in Colombia and Bogota that I know of, is the coca tea. tea. That's why they call it. Yeah, that's why it's green. Wow. Right, so I'm actually expecting this to taste like fresh cut grass because that's what the tea tastes like. <laughs> so. It tastes like carbonated coca tea, but cold. It's really good. I love it. I never even knew this existed in the world. It's good. It tastes like coca tea. Yeah, it tastes just like coca tea. It's so good, so dangerous. Because you can just keep drinking and drinking and drinking. Tequeño. 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 So it's a wonton with cheese and bacon inside. And then like a Mexican guacamole. There is some juice coming out from it. It's a great beer snack. It is? Yeah. Thank you for introducing me to coca that, beer. That she so ordered good that an extra for the road. I ordered the next one on the go. And there's a rule here that you can't drink outside, like you can't technically, for example, go to the park, sit there and drink beer. So I have to keep walking and drink. As long as you don't stop walking, it's legal apparently. She told me it was. It's gonna be your fault because I can drink outside the bar. <laughs> So our second stop on the tour is La Cerveza, and it's a La Cervezaria. La Cervezaria, and it is a great place if you're going to be drinking craft beer or you like craft beer, because their whole selection is Peruvian craft beers. They're like it looks so different. Yeah, look different from other churros. Mm -hmm. This churros they roll with. Yeah. Mm. With caramel inside. With caramel inside. Huh? Mm. So are some with cream? That's it. Do not bite into it right now. Oh. Oh, it's so hot. Your mouth is Oh. Here. I got it. Oh, it looks so sugary. I was too excited to eat it. <laughs> I don't know what he said. And I was like, oh, it's not so hot anymore. And I forgot it was filled with caramel. The caramel is quite hot on the inside still. <laughs> but it's still amazing. Yeah, if you're going to get a churro in Peru, get this one. It's so good. Hey, 
interestingly, in Peru, they refer to someone who is handsome, beautiful, as churro. So, for example, Jimmy would be mi churro. You are my Gracias. churros. You are my churros. I'm a caramel churro too. <laughs> mi churro is eh, my, eating mi churro churros. Es su churro. <laughs> <laughs> we came here during the day. Mm -hmm. I think you have to come at night. Everything light up and it just like have the feeling of historic mystery the feel is way better and the temperature is way better too during this time less pageant as well during night time it's really nice i don't know where's jimmy jimmy ah oh. So quite interesting, we were actually going to go in and see the catacombs because here in Lima, Peru, there are the catacombs under this church. About 25,000 common people buried underneath the church and they believed that being buried underneath the church was actually highly respected because you were closer to God and closer to heaven. Chamalada. You want this for 45 minutes or an hour? So this is the corn juice for shisha malada. This is not sweet. Yes. Red onion, a lot of onion, chicharron, and sweet potato. The sweet potato right here. Look like cheese, but it's not cheese. It's a sweet potato. Big, 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 big yeah. chop. That's what she said. That's what I say. Always wash your hands before eating. I did. It's like literally my favorite food. So the sweet potatoes and the onions have completely contrasting flavors, but they actually work well together. And then you have the crispy but filling pork with the crispy bread as well. It's got quite warm bread. It's really good. Auntie Kim. That's liver. That's liver. No, it's not liver. No? Barbecue? Heart. Okay, I eat heart. Yeah. I eat it. Yeah, you eat It's like meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to eat the belly. Sita? Stomach. I like stomach. Yeah? <laughs> I like pancita. I like everything. And though. Ah, yeah. Uh, that's what? Pancita? Si, sí, pancita chancheli. Uh -huh. Alright, so pancita, based on what I understand, is the stomach part. Okay, so maybe I try? Pancita? Yeah, you can try. Maybe can we mix heart and stomach together? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so that is what we're gonna go for. This stand, they are well known for anticucho, which is the heart, pancita, which is stomach. Gracias. It looks so good. That looks good, right? Yeah. You wanna sit somewhere and eat? Maybe we can sit somewhere and eat. Like some. Cream. Whatever you like. What What would you recommend? This is a rocoto. Spicy? It's another version of the first sauce. Okay, let's go for it. I love it. Another version. With chives. So it should be a little it bit spicy. It has the seeds. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna show a seed. Yeah. On the branches, so. Hard part. Oh, delicious. You good? Mm -hmm. What's really nice about this street food section is that they all have gloves on, they have hair nets. They have like masks to cover their face and a hat to cover the hairnet. 
along with aprons that the mayor has implemented them with, they must wear. So they all match, but it's all very hygienic. So they're all making sure that you're not getting sick. So that was the problem I've had since I've been here because our landlord told us the water was purified, so I got sick, I believe, because of the water. But all the food that we've had has been very, very delicious and very, very clean. I, did you plan this for me? You bring you, us you here did, for a reason. You did this for me, right? Yeah. You had to. <laughs> They're the cutest people ever, dancing and singing. And he came up and said, God bless you for being here. Like, oh, that's so adorable. So, so adorable. That old man that do the drum though, dude. He's, He's so, so cute. into the drum. <laughs>